Hey, you want to stay safe on the internet, right? Luckily for you, and fortunately for us, we have a fantastic sponsor of today's video that is supporting the Open Classic in Age of Empires 2 that can provide you exactly what you need. Surfshark provides a VPN, or a virtual private network, that will allow you to connect to the internet in a secure and confidential way. You can view it as a shield for your online information, where everything behind it is not easily visible or accessible to those who run into it. To give you an example of how this works, imagine you're living in the United Kingdom and you connect to a server in the United States. The VPN will send all your information with a different IP address, masking your real one, and suddenly every website you visit will see you as a visitor from the United States, which will keep your identity and location protected. And right now they're offering the amazing Age of Empires 2 community an incredible deal where you can get 83% off and three months for free by using the code TOC, which obviously stands for the Open Classic. And the best part is that with just a single subscription, you can connect it to unlimited amount of devices. Besides staying safe online, you can use the VPN to bypass censorship, unlock different libraries, for example for Netflix in different countries and areas, and you can even find better prices online. There are a lot of features that I haven't even mentioned yet, and you can discover those by checking out the description of the video and taking advantage of the incredible deal that is 83% off and 3 months for free with the code TOC. I would like to thank Surfshark for supporting Age of Empires 2 and the Open Classic, and now, we move on to the video. Okay, so we have to pick the maps. Uh, what map do I want to pick against... Uh, against Ganji would be the question. So look at the maps in the tournament. These are the maps that are in the tournament. We have nine maps. No, yeah, nine maps. So Arabia, Arena, Islands, with a time limit, Atacama, Fortress, Nomad, Land Madness, Hideout, and Gold Rush. So we're gonna have to uh, do a draft here. Um, it didn't look too convincing out the comma, but then again, that was very, probably very much down to the boar missing, right? I think I can do something like, do like, let's just do Land Madness. I'll pick Land Madness again. We didn't get to play it the last time. Bald Baldy. I see you! Okay, I'll pick Land Madness. We'll see what Ganja picks. Arena? I don't want to pick Arena. Not at this stage. Maybe later, depending on opponents. So we have Land Madness, Nomad, and Arabia. Mm -mm. I might, I'm thinking about even rushing Lithuanians to just take it away from him. Looks like he wants to play that on Nomad. But um, we also have other sales that I like on Nomad. What's the price pool for TOC? $35,000. Lots of dollars. Is this a show match? No. It's a big tournament. There's no time limit, just encourage drawing it out further for a draw. Um, the main reason with a time limit is that um, people will play more to win earlier, right? If you're Portuguese and you have an advantage, you're not going to just sit back and make Fetoria, most likely. It's like you cannot make that approach. Uh, it's pretty much because we don't want Fetoria games on islands, pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. But yeah, we'll see. Just waiting for Ganja to join the draft now. Okay, we're ready. Um, I think I still pick Chinese for Arabia. It's just such a solid sieve. Yeah, I think we go for that. Why no ban or snipes? I want to see the best sieves. I want to play the best sieves, right? If there are bans and snipes, we never see the best sieves. I feel like that's something that's been missing in tournaments lately, where you, you don't really get to see the best sieves. They're always banned, there's always snipes. And that's kind of the argument for that. Also it keeps it more simple. Britons? Wait, Arabia? Is he going Britons for Arabia, maybe? 
Land madness can't be Britons. Or I don't can't imagine it being Britons. As the wrist so far, it's fine so far. I'm gonna take off the wrist support now though. And play Gunji with without the support. <laughs> Franks. That's probably land madness then, yeah. Um So he didn't prioritize Nomad Civs at all yet. I feel like I can take two Nomad Civs now that I don't want, want him to play. Let's take Lithuanians and Spanish. So I'll and then I will pick my, my Land Madness Civ at the end. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Yeah, when I cast I use the lefty most of the time. Um but yeah, we'll see. Tomorrow is when I'm gonna know how my wrist feels, right? I won't have too many games today because it's best of three, best of three, best of five. If I make it all the way through. Um uh, okay, he's forcing the Malians for Nomad now. I think that's good for me. Now it's for him probably to pick, like, if he's happy with his saves for his maps, now he's probably picking to deny ma Oh, Aztecs, okay. And what do I want on Nomad? Probably play Spanish on Nomad. I think I go Ma- Magyars. Or, uh, Land Madness. Do it like that. That's the draft. Arabia. I'll probably use Spanish on Nomad, so Arab Arabia, Nomad, Land Madness. Let's do it. Okay, Ganji is ready here, so we wanna uh, make sure we click in. I'm not sure what my seed is even, so I'm not sure if who is higher seed than me. But at what point I might have to not? Uh, what point I cannot pick the first sieve anymore? Oops. So uh, Britons, as expected. That's a bit of a sloppy opening, let's just go there. Not a smooth opening, but okay. So, Britons. I'm not sure how he plays Britons here. But he picked it very specifically. And it was his first pick. So he probably likes Britons. We're gonna have to find a way to deal with whatever he has planned. Let's push a deer already. Going for some laming could have been a good idea here. I see it, Britons. We could steal some of his sheep, that would be fantastic. same time, if he would lame any of our sheep, that would be quite bad for us. See both are boars, that is good. Gotta locate our sheep now. Okay, start, I would say. Some pigs, all quite exposed on the top side. I'm trying to plan how I want to wall this. I think I will wall from here down to my TC and just there as well. Should be a good solid one. I guess he's on the top right side. I think I know my second board was to the back. I believe I saw it there. There's a house. Is that the start of a drush, maybe? Kind of blindly going here now, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So let me see how many woods he has on wood. That's four. I'm gonna actually rotate back to see if he's building a barracks there. It will decide a lot in terms of how fast I will try to secure my walls here. He has taken 10 gold. We're likely facing a drush here. I'm gonna go back. You know what? I can also just do this. I'm even gonna mill my deer. We have an easy ish wall here. So make sure we don't take any damage from the drush. Don't think he will commit with the scout anywhere, so he might switch up as well and just go the feudal age. I think that's something that would be logical for his for him. That should be fine. I don't mind delaying my fuel age either by doing this. So this is all Gucci. Oh, that's a good good hit. Okay, he did invest into the Drush, so that is good news for me. There should not be any hole. This map, the gold is quite exposed as well, so I don't think he can justify going for a cast late follow-up. I'm kind of looking for a scout. The scout went to the top somewhere. I'm gonna be few later soon, so I would like to kill it. Oh, it's there. I'm just gonna do eco approach, honestly. I don't, I don't think I need to do anything army in village even. I'll do a range, make one archer, one skirmisher. I'm just gonna go to cast stage, I think. Do equal upgrades, get farming going, and just go to the next stage. Okay, he went for a fast village. Okay, I will do more army. I take it back. There's no sign of a fast castle in for him. Okay, one range. He is on gold. And taking a fair bit, so it should be an archer follow up. We're just gonna we're just gonna play a range war. We'll have a really good economy with Chinese, we can make counter units, we have a very flexible tech tree. So I think just playing range war here should be okay for us. He hasn't upgraded anything there, so I don't expect... Um, my arms upgrade from him at this point. They would love to pick off his scout somewhere. Okay, 
Okay, we know where a scout is. I don't think I even. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna do fletching. It's super greedy. Okay. But he doesn't have fletching either. I guess that forces my hand a little bit. Okay, we just go back. Make a house. Uh, I feel very comfortable with my, with my with my spot here. He doesn't have fetching. I do. Let's fight. Do armor as well because we don't want to take any unnecessary risk. Let's not do armor. Just as I speak about unnecessary risk. Yeah, I feel like he cannot, he cannot, there's no way he can push the, force an issue here. So, should be fine to just think about castage rather than going for the armor. Still no armor from him, so I think it was definitely the right call. Let's go here, we will have hill advantage from here. Oh, he did armor. I don't think he should be fighting me when I have the hill though, no matter what. Well, he's getting these scary numbers, I guess. Let's see if we can snipe. Yeah, I still think we got a decent trade there. Can't complain. Just play Archer, uh, Skirmisher, Mish, Mish, Mix. And we should still be fine here. I think our uptime up should definitely be better. Now he will obviously have the range advantage with the crossbow, but I feel like as long as we just do all the upgrades, we can jump on his army. There's an awkward hill there, though, which we don't like. Okay, we have enough scrums now. I think he moved out a little bit too far. Try to sneak in thumb ring as well, but that would have been too much probably. So you want to fight? Tower coming up. It may have been too late. Us just getting as many bills as we can. Okay, that's good. And we clean up his whole arm in the process while getting villager kills. Can't complain. Now we're in a very, very good spot. It will still take us time to finish the game because he has the Britain range. But we are in a fantastic spot. Because I have enough skirms now, so I will just make. Uh, only crossbows from now. Okay, 
练习。准备就绪，何种情形？作战是。准备就绪，攻击。作战是。作战是。何种情形？进攻是。什么 ？I guess I should do ballistics now. See if he has added a stable. Yeah, he has a stable. I'm gonna go back. This is very like I can probably do some damage. Um, but it's like once he has the, the stable there, it's potentially just wasted skirms. So I need to bring my crossbows together with the skirms, and then I can start engaging. Oh, what's happening? Okay, now he has to go back. And I can jump on these crossbows. Alright, shoot. Yeah, I think this is where I just dive in. There's no reason for me not to. He's also... He must have taken... Uh, Dawn if he wanted to add a town center here. So this is very likely still one TC play from him. The ballistics is almost in. Oh, he walled the top set again. Yeah, he's just playing full reactive though, it's, it's a super awkward situation for him, no matter what. Yeah, very likely a GG situation, this what's happening right now. He's trying to wait for his main now, but yeah. GG, alright. Didn't really take any risk. Um, fairly straightforward. Uh, we just played it safe. We scouted what he was doing, we reacted accordingly, and just took it safely from there. Mm, just avoiding bad fights and kind of... Yeah. Securing the game. That was good. It was the early Castle Age that kind of killed him, right? Because when we hit Castle Age, this is where he tried to rush... He had to rush a tower. He lost his army in the Feudal Age and everything, so... Good start. Sorry, just had to. Thank you. And host, host, host. One minute delay. Go. So we're gonna play Nomad next, very likely. I say very likely. Obviously, we're going to play Nova next. Um, we have Spanish against Malians, most likely. Don't mind, don't mind. Should be an uh, interesting fight. He clearly showed that he knows how to play Nomad last game. So, uh, let's see. Again, I feel like it's bugging again. Like I have to switch map again. Click I'm ready. And then switch back. see Nomad. GG's. Chaff yes. 630, thanks for 35. Jason Dyson with 7. Spartacus, thank you for 37. Lux Tough, thank you, Sun the Beach. I need to pick Spanish. And off we go. <clears throat> I think we just do this. Insta TC. Get that TC up ASAP. And try to get a good start. Uh, this gap in the woodland is a bit awkward, but we'll survive. Oh, I lost the sheep. I was kind of depending, depending on that one. Yeah, that sheep was unfortunate to lose, but there should always be some resources around. 
Artisi will be up super fast. Not a lot to do when you don't have any sheep and all wheels are building. Good back. Ah, go there. I'm gonna see if there's a boar or something there. There's some deer, but it's not really what I'm looking for right now. Give me a shore fish. Just need a shore fish. That's all I ask for. The Matisse got up really fast, but I don't like that I don't see any hunt. There's a house there. We might have a TC in the area then. Not the best dock in the world either, but... There's a boar. And if we're lucky that he has a town center down there, we're kind of taking a boar away from his region as well right now. So do not mind. You might know that we have a dock there now or figure it out because he lost his sheep. We kind of should know where our dock is. But I do think his TC is down here since there's a house there. So you gotta commit a little bit more on scouting. Figure out what's happening. Inconsistent woodlands with gaps everywhere. Another boar, thank you very much. I also have, probably have to make a lumber camp quite early. Which is not ideal, but has to be done. Why did it stop? That was a bit awkward. So I have stone on my TC, which is good if I want to go conquistadors. Mm, gold in the back, kind of good as well. I think I will go for a semi fast fuel age and play some sort of hybrid. So a little bit of water, but also probably take some stone. And try to transition to cast stage, really. Yeah, I will do another uh, lumber camp now. Get the wood e efficiency a little bit higher. Would not mind another boar. But I don't expect it. Maybe in this area. Mm. Not great that I'm housed now. 
shouldn't really happen. But I think we're fine. Do that. You will go up and make a second dock. And I think I'm happy with my fish and ship count as well. I don't really need to make too many more. Just make it there. Seems like good water on the right side. I might rotate this villager to the right side. And build a dock there as well. Looks like we might have a decent uptime as well compared to him. He's not up yet. Which is good. Okay, so there is a late feud lage. I'm also just guessing that he is there. Oh, okay, let's do an outpost there. Another one. In this region, and then we'll have a general idea of what is going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw a demo coming. So I'm just gonna play very defensive water. Uh, I don't have any plans of winning water right away. I'll play, or like winning water to begin with. I will play defensive water uh, with the idea of just holding so I can use my fish as long as possible. Okay, sharing uh, vision there. If he wants to pass here, I will have a demo, so that's fine. He's thinking twice about passing. Barracks coming up. And my host. Very bad timing to be housed. Very, very bad. I'm completely content with this though, right? Show me a demo. No? Perfect. And I'm not even gonna make more water, honestly. I'm gonna make one more demo to sit inside the barracks. Barracks, the dock. I'm gonna send those two fires to the other side. It's very greedy, but I mean, my game plan is clear, right? I'm gonna play conks and put the pressure here. 
think we will be up before him as well. Well, that is obviously no guarantee. If I can drop a castle here on top of his stable, that would be great. And I feel like I should be able... Oh, I should have walled him in there. Let's do that or try that. Oh! I'm not supposed to go to this side. Full HP first. That's fine. I'm sending lowish pivots as well. But actually, you know what? Let's keep the lowish pivots. Oh, will he repair? No. That should be a pretty deadly castle. It's on its gold as well. From what I can see. And we still have our fish alive. This is just... Right now it's just playing out perfectly for me. Oops. Let's just attack the... Stable. Get that out. ASAP. There's a villager. Turns out, well, no, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, it turns out conks are accurate when they're right next to the unit. And then they missed anyway. So that was quite sad. Don't even think I'll add town centers. I just go full, full armor, right? Do I do a tower behind here? Yeah, I think that's overkill. Let's add town center. That's not that town center. I changed my mind. I did the heavy plow. I haven't made a single farm yet. That's fine. I don't really care about the water anymore. My game is based on this pressure on land. Husbandry, so I see one monk. He cannot convert, right? Because I will just jump and kill his monk. So he will have to garrison. Oh my god. Oh, that's a disaster for him. Disaster. Like, honestly, he's dead. Right now. When I do this. Because now he has no monks to chase me away either. Oh, that was really ugly for him. Yeah, he is just... He knows what's coming as well now. I think that will be... Eh, let's do it there. He has one monk inside. I mean, I could just run in. Yeah, this should be it. So awkward for him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah there's no escaping here. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the game. The monk pops. Snipe the monk. 
snipe the monks. Oh, you got a conversion. <laughs> uh, GG. Thanks. All right. All right. Uh, happy with that. Fairly straightforward. I mean, I didn't. I feel like I didn't do anything special both games. I just played calm, reactive, and decision making game. And oh, yeah, the TC there. Yeah. And that was good. Good by him to sneak that TC out there. But uh, yeah. Having water doesn't matter when you have this kind of pressure on your base. Even though he won water, it's not really gonna give you anything when you're this far pushed back. <clears throat> All right. So we have. Uh, anything to see? KD fairly equal, but yeah. Oh, even even after he has the water, right? He's still twelve hundred food behind. I think land eco is underestimated on Nomad for the most part. Lethal Hubris, thanks for the sub. The Champollion, thanks for the whole year as well. Indeed. Indeed. Fully confirmed. Yeah. Let's have a look at the brackets. I need to actually record, uh, send the recorded games first. Give me a second here. Kanji. Upload the games and then we'll have a look at the brackets. All right, so now, now we're going to have some pretty big matches. Uh, going on let's refresh this see what is new all right let's go to the top see what is happening here we have mr yo advancing against mihai as well so yo is through to round of three next games will be best of fives by the way so, uh, yeah, how's the wrist feeling? Eh, it's a little bit annoying, but I, I can play. I can play well. Lan and Zupi, that's a big one. And that's the best of three, guys. Lan and Zupi in a best of three. Oof. I wouldn't want to be in that match. Max has advanced against uh, Ink. Fire is playing as Pela now. Uh, oh, so we have Valas. Our opponent is already ready. So there's a big chance we just get our match done for today, and then we switch into full casting mode without delay. Uh, MBL against Bloodless is going to be the match there. Sounds so weird. Tato against Bling. Oof. Tato against Bling, guys. That's a banger in the round three. Rawls against Dracont. It's him against Blade. Okay, Doubt against Classic Pro. That's also a pretty good match. Classic Pro is playing really well these uh, last six, seven, eight months. That could, should not be too easy for Doubt. Bogan beat bad boy, nice for him. Jordan is still waiting for his opponent. Aye, aye. Jordan is not gonna be happy. Yeah, Tato against Bling. Whew. What a match. Alright. Uh so me and I will update everything here quickly. Left player the Viper, right player Valas. We're facing the Finnish player Valas. Uh, it's going to be a best of five. Let's try and get an idea of if he's ready to know to go or not. We're already in round of 32. And it's we've only been live for two and a half hours. So, uh, yeah, But now we're going to have the more complicated uh, drafting scenario, guys. 
I'm gonna take a quick break, go to the bathroom, and when I get back, we'll do the draft and everything. And uh, we're entering the more advanced and uh, proper competitive stages of the game, of the tournament. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. <laughs> 